Hi, my name's Danny Trachtenberg. I'm a recording and mix engineer, producer, sound designer. I've worked with a large range of artists from George Ezra, Octavian, Stormzy, Skepta, Georgia Smith, Sarathi Kulwa, uh, Zebra Cats, CJ Mirror. I've also worked as a teacher and mentor, uh, currently working with NTS's Work in Progress program. So we're here at my studio at the 1087 Complex up in uh, North London. We're taking a look at the Zen Tour Synergy core unit. I've worked with Antelope products probably for about six years. I now run the Orion Studio Synergy Core as kind of the core IO of, of my studio to facilitate all the outboard equipment and uh, synthesizers that I use. The Zen feels really good. The build quality feels really solid, it feels heavy. The, the big main monitor control knob on the front is really nice. The three main buttons here, which kind of gives you access to your different input levels, headphone mixes, and then this really nice little multifunctional antelope button, which lets you select different options for what it does. I've had a play with it, and one of the things I really like is a mono feature for mix downs. The IOs are really nice for this size unit. It's got four discrete A-class mic pre's combi with line inputs on the back. The front has four guitar inputs, which are switchable to line inputs as well. For these and the mic preamps have about 124 dBs of headroom. The headphone outs and then the reamp outputs, which are really nice as like an accessible pair um, on the front for sending stuff back out to some outboard. On the back, the, there's a DB25 eight channel line out on the back, which are about 127 dB of headroom, I believe, and can be DC coupled, so you can send CV control voltages to synths. The other IO options, it's got Speedif, it's got ADAT, it's got uh, mastering grade monitor outs uh, with about 130 dB of headroom. It's uh, Windows and Mac compatible, it's USB 2 and Thunderbolt 3. Uh, it's got a talkback mic on the front. And then the other really nice feature that it has is this touch screen, which gives you really nice accessibility to inputs and output levels, output levels, reamp levels, headphone mixes, and all the whole range of different metering, which is really nice kind of being able to have access to all those different metering options across your, your inputs, your outputs, your mix, your sub mixes. It comes with 36 built-in uh, ready-to-go plugins of um, Antelope effects. You can also get involved with uh, third-party plugins such as the uh, Antares Auto-Tune. The Zen Tours routing matrix is unbelievably flexible, giving you access to all the I.O. options within the device. Your ADAT inputs, your speed of inputs, mic emulations, the inputs on the device are all here. So your front four channels are here and then your uh, uh, back, uh, the rear four channels, the mic line channels are over here. The Matrix is really versatile in the way that you can kind of send anything to anything. You can set up your Q mixes here as well through these four sub mixes. You can add reverb uh, to headphone mixes. If your artist is looking for that, they can listen to the dry mix or the wet mix of the effects chains that you have here across these 16 um, mono and eight pairs of effects. So this is a song called Submission Station um, by a producer called CJ Mirror. He has an artist project coming out later this year called Mirror Maze. And we've been working together for a while now. And this is gonna be one of the first uh, singles off his new project. Submission. The way that at least uh, myself and CJ work is he's he's done a lot of the work in the kind of the writing and the production process. So what I'm getting is kind of largely produced out stems that I'm then just doing a final kind of sort of balance and small amounts of just 
kind of just finding place for everything and a little bit of cleaning up here and there. But I'm having a lot of the, a lot of fun on the master bus um, with projects with CJ. So I'm looking for kind of plugins that are kind of emulating some analog style stuff. Antelopes array of stuff is really nice for that. And I've kind of just used a couple here, um, an EQ and a compressor just on the just on the master bus just to give it a little bit more bottom a little bit more kind of upper mids upper range just just doing very little but it's it's adding just a nice kind of glue You can have a lot of fun here in your mixes with with things, especially if you're using a lot of these on the way in on the inputs and you want to then maybe just kind of continue on with some of that flavor that you're getting with the AFX uh, plugins on the inputs of the, uh, of the Zen. And you want to just kind of find then a similar vibe for some other kind of stems or um, channels that haven't been run through the antelope and you're just kind of looking to keep things in the similar universe antelope's own plugins emulations of a whole array of very familiar eqs and compressors and plugins and you can really start to build up a nice chain of things again one of the really nice things about the zen is being able to use all of antelope's plugins not only within your daw like i've been doing on this master bus here but also across all of its inputs, its eight inputs that the Zentor has. You can record through it through the built-in DSP effects. You can track through all the all eight of the um, inputs, the mic preamps and the guitar and line inputs. And you can track both simultaneously clean and wet through this routing matrix. And so I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you now with a chain that I've kind of put together of um, three of their plugins, a, a, a compressor, vibrato, and a tape reel, just through the Roland TR8 that I've got synced up. So from this Rudy matrix with uh, the mic preamp set up to go to not only input one and two, but also three and four in, uh, in Ableton. Um, so I've got one and two there, and then three, four here, and then that's just our MIDI channel. Okay, so that's just something something I made earlier. Nothing special. So we've got two channels set up, the TR8 wet and the TR8 dry, and then just the external instrument triggering the MIDI. But we've got both going at the same time, and now let's just punch in some of the effects that we had going on. So just a little bit of compression, maybe just bring that up a little touch more. So then just some vibrato for just something interesting. And then the uh, the tape reel. So just some creative stuff going on. Nothing over the top, but some really fun stuff just to get a vibe going, just to get a sound going. We tracked both the dry and the wet at the same time. I punched the effects in kind of halfway through, but here's, there's the wet. And there's the dry, just both simultaneously tracked at the same time. So, you know, you've just got the options if you're not quite sure what you want to do. So today's been really fun getting to know this unit. It's, it feels really familiar because it has the, the same processing, the same preamps and clocking and converters that my Orion Studio Synergy Core has, except it's portable. And I'm on the road a lot. So being able to travel with a unit just a size down unit of, of my Orion studio is kind of a game changer for me. It feels the same, it looks the same, and uh, it, it just provides me with that same kind of sound that I enjoy in my studio. Mm -hmm. 